Hi, my name is David Dickey, and today I'm going to be talking about some very com important components to giving a speech or presentation. These components are going to help connect with your audience, make them understand what you're saying, and also bring them closer to you. These components are called the five principles, and today I'll be explaining what these are and how you can use each of them. So that in mind, here's what they are. They are simple, unexpected surprises, detailed examples, credibility establishment, and narration of a story. I will be going into great detail of each of these and how explain how you can use them in your speech or presentation to get a better product. So the first one I want to talk about is simple. It's important to be brief but still be profound at the same time. As humans, we don't trust simple, but sometimes we get lost when things are way too complex and hard to understand. It's important to find that balance so you don't bore your audience or lose them because if you're simple or too complex, both of these will happen. We tend to distrust easy, but it's something we want. We want things to be easy in life, but we, but we don't trust them when someone just tells us the answer is five to a question. Well, how'd they get there? We don't really know, but we trust, we want the answer, but we don't know if that's right. So some ways to follow this are to not have too long, not to have too long of sentences in your PowerPoint slides. Make sure they are written well, and make sure they are easy to read as an audience member, and the words are not too complex, and the level of reading isn't that hard. Also, space out what you have to say. It's easier for audience to, it's, it's easier for the audience to read what you have written and gives them time to process what you, what you have read. All right, so the next part I'm going to talk about is unexpected surprises. It's important to surprise your audience because it gives them something they will remember and take with them. The brain remembers things that tend to stand out in isolation from everything else. For example, if you see five red cars and one yellow car, chances are you're going to, remember, you're going to think, why is that yellow car there? So there are many ways that we can do this. One of the ways is to actually surprise them, but you must be very careful when you do this and you don't want to overuse it because you will only end up scaring your audience and you might actually end up losing their interest and they're going to be more worried about when you're going to scare them next. If you do use this right though, it will make your audience pay closer attention and will make them be more focused on what you are saying. Another method is to provide surprising facts, information that most people are going to find shocking and something that people would have never have guessed. This information is going to stick out in your audience's head. And it is something that they will take with them because it's going to, it's going to be such a surprising and unbelievably fact. It's important to put these in your, in your presentation or speech because there's certain, as, there's, there's certain aspects that the, that the audience will take with them. So with that in mind, I'd like to talk about the next aspect. The next aspect is to establish credibility. Establishing credibility is extremely important because if you don't do this, it will, it will make your audience question and not believe what you are saying, and they will, may, might think your information is not true. You must give credit to the people that you get your information from or the website that you get any information off of. Um, another part about establishing credibility that is important is you must also look very, you must be wearing um, 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 appropriate clothes for the situation. Wearing casual to nice clothes are the best things to wear in, when you're giving a speech or presentation. It's very hard to believe someone who looks like they don't know how to present themselves. Wearing unprofessional attire makes you, look, makes you look uneducated and therefore makes your whole presentation hard to believe and makes the audience think that you do not care and don't know what you're talking about. Wearing nice clothes pretty much says the exact opposite. It tells your audience that you, that you, that you actually know what you're talking about and that you, it makes your audience think that you spent a lot of time on this presentation and so the information and facts in it must be correct and are credible. So with that in mind, the next thing I want to talk about are detailed examples. Detailed examples are extremely important. It's important that you should have enough examples to give your audience a clear and defining understanding of what you're trying to get across. But as I mentioned earlier, you don't want to go into too far. Having detailed information also makes the information believable and the audience is more likely to believe what you are saying. Um, a good way to follow this is to go through and, and to go th is to explain thoroughly and go into great length explaining the topics of what you want your audience to remember and to not go into great detail of some of the other ones. The most important aspects of your presentation that you should do this in are the parts that you think are the most important are, are the most important. So then the last part I'm going to the last aspect I'm going to be explaining is telling a story or, narr or narration of a story. Telling a story is a great way to connect with your audience and it allows your audience to get to know you and some of the values that you find important and some of the things that you think are important in your life. Audience, audience members tend to remember stories because they are personable and most people in the audience will connect with them 
if they, have, if they are feeling the same way or have been through the same situation you have written. Another way is if you, your, your name will be brought up with that story if you, do, if, you do it, if you tell the story right and it's a good story. The stories you want to use are you want to use a story that has taught you an important life lesson or an important value in life. You are the best at telling these stories because they're important to you and you, know what's, you actually know what's going on. Use a story that's going to prove a point or an important lesson and life value because those are the ones that the audience members tend to take with them. The best place to tell your story in your presentation is right before an important point you are trying to make. That way that will give the audience a first-hand experience on a actual life event that helps prove the point or prove the important value that you are trying to tell across your story. Well, unfortunately, I, that's all the time I have, but I hope this presentation has taught you some of the important principles of giving a speech. Using these principles will help you on your presentations and will make giving, speech, and will make giving speeches seem much easier because you know what to put in them. Using these will also engage your audience to the presentation and will make them seem a lot more interested in what you have to say and will make, them, will make you look better as an overall presenter. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time I have. I hope you take a lot away from this presentation, and I hope I have taught you some new ways to make your presentations better in the future. Um, it's, it's a good way to follow these. They're going to make your presentations better. They're going to help you establish what you want to establish throughout your presentation, and it helps your audience become more engaged in your presentation. With that in mind, next time you're preparing for a speech or a presentation, look over these. Look over these principles and make sure you have them. They will only help you out and will make the overall product of your speech or presentation that much better. Thank you very much.